Were you these neighbours in our parish? Um, the one, the Sullivans. Ah, they were a all right kind of a family, but they were strange, I suppose you could call us. And they had one son, Joseph, and they were very protective of Joseph. And uh, you know, if, if there came a wet morning, they didn't bother sending Joseph to school and things like that. And the pampered him. But um, for his 25th birthday, they bought him a bicycle. And he learned to ride the bicycle. And so it was a new life for Joseph. He could go here and he could go there. And he'd go to the pictures and that night and one thing and another. But this went on anywhere for a while. And this Sunday evening, anywhere Sunday when they were eating the dinner, he said to the father, he said, we might miss the cows early this evening and you have to go away. So the cows was missed and they were early anyway. And Joseph put on the Sunday suit and he put the <coughs> flash lamp on the bicycle and uh, set off and he went down that yeah, and he turned to his right in the direction of Manor Hamilton and um, <laughs> of course the old pair was in bed when he came home and they thought maybe he was at the pictures or something like that they didn't pass any heat and um, was no word talk but about it and Wednesday evening came, and he went to worry at the dinner again, a Wednesday, and he says to the father, he says, we might meet the cows here in the sea. I have to go away. So, it was the same performance, the Sunday, the Sunday suit went on, and he went down the lane, and he headed in the direction of Manor Hamilton. And that went on for about 12 months, or maybe more, and this day anyway, morning at the breakfast, he says, Mammy, Daddy, I have something to tell you. Oh, I should say, I should, there's no secrets in this house, you can tell us anything. What is it, Joseph? I'm thinking about getting married, he says. Well, no. The mother got an awful shock calling it because I'm... Um, and she was kind of, you know what I mean, she didn't know which way he was. She was kind of delighted that she was out of her, out of her uh, quandary about it anyway. And, and um, um, uh, when she got her breath with her, and it takes a good deal now to, for a woman to lose her, her job, um, she eventually asked him, and who are you thinking about getting married to? He says, um, I get married to the Slattery there outside of Manor Hamilton. And the father looked at him and he says, Tell me now, he says, uh, what Slattery is that? Ah, he says, You know the man, he says, that spreads the lime and all oh, that. I do, says the father. And I know the mother too, he says. <laughs> and I'll tell you now before you go any further, Joseph, he says. When I was a young lad, I used to be up that country and country house dances and, and bazaars and things like that. <clears throat> and I knew that lassie's mother well. In, in fact, I probably knew her too well. <laughs> and um, now, before you go any further, that girl there knows that you were thinking about getting married to could be your half sister. <laughs> and, and you can't marry your half sister. And with that, the father lifted his cap off the table and he went out to do something. <laughs> and Joseph was spellbound at the back of the table and he made a lip and up to the room, and they said it was three days before the mother got him coaxed out of the room, and she was carrying him tea and toast and everything like that, <laughs> and he came down, and of course there was no one away of a Sunday, but there was no one away of a Wednesday, for a full twelve months. But after twelve months anyway, this Sunday evening again, didn't he say, we might meet the cows here. <laughs> <laughs> and the sheep. 
and the same thing <laughs> happened again on Wednesday. And um, that went on again for 12 months. But every time he went down the lane, it was the, that the direction he took <laughs> for, for, for Matt and Garrison was the little village that was down there. He got a servant. After about 12 months again, he announced he was thinking about getting married. And, and who is it this time? Says the mother. Ah, oh, she's Rogan, he says. Um, you, you know them well, he says. Um, you know, he says, he, 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 he does the harness for horses and, and all that sort of thing and a bit of the second hand clothes. <laughs> no, he needs that fairs and things like that. And the father looked at him and he shook his head. And he scratched his head when he said, Joseph, he says, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> now he says, I know that girl's mother well. <laughs> I used to be down there, he says, at Cayley's and one thing and another and card games. In fact, he says, I probably knew her too well. <laughs> and that girl know that you were thinking about getting married could be your half-sister. <laughs> and, and, and you can't marry your half-sister. And with that, he lifted the cap and put it on him and out again. And, of course, the mother thought she was in for another three days, carrying to Joseph in the room. But Joseph nearly up turned the table and up to the room. And it was no time that she heard doors banging, wardrobes, and one thing and another, and she says, another God, she says, what is he at? And up she went to the room anyway, and Joseph had the suitcase on the bed, and whatever bits of clothes he had, he was packing them into the suitcase. And she says, Joseph, she says, what are you doing? He says, I'm going to England. I have enough money saved, he says, I'll go to England. And when I get in, Another bit saved, he says, I'll go to America and I'll never be seen about here again. How could anyone stay, he says, in a place, he says, where they don't know their own brothers and sisters <laughs> and a father like that? So the mother went over to him and she caught him in the shoulder and she said, Joseph, she says, you're going nowhere. Will you sit down here? And she forced him down onto the bed and put him sitting down. Now she says, do you know what you do, Joseph? Whichever one of them two girls you think the most about, will you go and ask her to marry you? And pay no heed to that old clown gone out, sure he thinks he's your father. <laughs>